I'm going to give you guys details on the next faction rally as well as exotic tuning that's happening next week and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So for those who don't know, Crimson Days will be ending on Tuesday, February 20th at 9am Pacific Standard Time. However, when the Crimson Days ends, the Faction Rally, the new one, will begin. When Faction Rally arrives, you need to pledge your allegiance to one of the three factions, either New Monarchy, Dead Orbit, or Future World Cult. You do this by heading to their respective areas and talking to the faction leaders. In order to gain reputation for each faction, you will have to complete certain activities like Strikes, The Nightfall, Lost Sectors, and Crucible just to name a few. Here are the weapons that we will be rewarded with if our faction is the winner by next week. We have the New Monarchy Pulse Rifle, the Dead Orbit Pulse Rifle, and a Future War Code Scout Rifle. If your faction wins, then you can purchase the weapon for 1000 Glimmer, but if your faction is not the winner and you want the winner's weapon, then it'll cost you a low price of 50,000 Glimmer. So come on down. <laughs> so for the last two faction rallies, New Monarchy reigned supreme, and for the very first one, it was Dead Orbit. So let's see if either of them will take the title once again. Here are some of the weapons that will be added to the faction rally's loot pool. We have the New Monarchy Scout Rifle, as well as the Auto Rifle, a Dead Orbit Linear Fusion Rifle, as well as a Pulse Rifle, and for Future World Cup, they have a Hand Cannon, as well as the Auto Rifle. But I actually hope that the True Prophecy will also be available in the Loot Pool as well. It's a Future World Cup Hand Cannon from which I need to get my hands on due to it being requested for my Destiny 2 Guardian Challenges series. And if you guys would like to know what that series entails, then you can click on the annotation at the top right of the screen, in the description, or at the end of this video. It's definitely an idea that a lot of Guardians like, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Next, let's talk a little bit about exotic tuning. This is actually a subject that Bungie said they will make a couple of passes on. So, Bungie wants to focus on adding and or increasing player power spikes, they want to focus on exotics that aren't being used as much, but they are also considering all the exotics. And lastly, they want to lean into an item established gameplay and push it harder to avoid catch-all improvements that dilute the item's identity. So pretty much, in short, they want to make exotics that aren't being used or have less gameplay better. Now for this, Bungie used the Graviton Lance Pulse Rifle as an example. At this point, it's all show but no go. It's an exotic that has cool effects, but they want it to become more competitive and not just all about the looks. When it comes to the Graviton Lance, Bungie plans on reducing the recoil of the burst, they want to add some aim assist, and change it from 3 rounds to 2. But that's not all. The Graviton Lance will also now make the opponent float backwards and up so that the opponent won't go out of range of the splash damage. They also made the explosion bigger increased the damage, and added some void field projectiles that seek out any remaining targets. Now, the Graviton Lance might sound OP, but I guess we're just going to see how it performs next week. However, this is not the only exotic that is getting tuned. Unfortunately, Bungie really didn't mention many other ones that were going to get tuned, but at the moment some of the exotics aren't getting touched and they will already be benefiting from the tuning changes planned for update 1.1.4. Some of the weapons that are not getting an update this time around are the Merciless, Telesto, Word Cliff Coil, Mita Multitool, The Colony, Legend of Acreus, and the Vigilance Wing. Now, don't get mad at me, I'm not Bungie, I'm only here to portray the news, that's it. So with all that said, which of the factions are you guys going to choose this next time around? Will it be New Monarchy, Dead Orbit, or Future War Cult? Let me know in the comments section as well as you guys are free to express how you feel about the exotic changes that are coming next week. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time. With such dedication to your partner.